And as Will mentioned, right now, Governor Ducey is not ordering restaurants and bars to close as some other states are doing, but some are taking steps on their own. Team 12's Rachel Cole joins us live from Phoenix with one small business, uh, with what one small business is doing tonight. Rachel. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Curry Bay, we're out here in front of this local brewery here in Phoenix, and the open sign is on right now, but things are going to be changing. Of course, all of those changes coming on the heels of the president's new recommendations. We're exclusively going to go, to go sales. Rinhouse, a valley hotspot slowing down its cold beer service and eliminating space for friends to sit down. There won't be any tap room consumption, and that's just to reduce congregation. The lights out layer of caution is a step to help stop the spread and keep customers safe, as the Trump administration recommends. All Americans, including the young and healthy, work to engage in schooling from home when possible, avoid gathering in groups of more than 10 people, avoid discretionary travel, and avoid eating and drinking at bars, restaurants, and public food courts. Senator Martha McSally tweeting the president's guidelines, adding everyone can help slow the spread. Senator Kirsten Sinema tweeting, referencing how Ohio's governor closed schools a week ago and now bars and restaurants, then saying Arizona should take action now. Some places are doing it on their own. We discontinued uh, our dollar bills um, just because that wasn't a object that we could necessarily control because it's an outside uh, vessel being brought in. Extra measures in place here at Rin House include specific spots for used glassware, sanitization, and self-pay with plastic so no cash exchanges hands. A focus on uh, health and safety for our employees and hopefully there's enough transactional demand to where we can continue the normal cadence of our shifting. He says luckily Rin House reels in profit through to-go sales and online orders. You know, we want to do whatever we can to minimize what could be a pretty uh, hazardous scenario. In addition to small businesses making some of those voluntary changes, the Flagstaff mayor, as we mentioned at the top of the show, issuing a new regulation prohibiting all restaurants, coffee shops, and other similar businesses from serving food and drinks to the public. For a full statement, you can go to our website, 12news.com, or, or of course the free 12 News app. We're live in Phoenix. Rachel Cole, 12 News at 10. Okay, Rachel, thanks.